for auto framing. Now, if you look here, we've changed this. Instead of auto tracking, this is now called automation because we have two options, one of them being auto framing. And this is a cool one. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to zoom it out of here though so that I think the best way to show this is to have it zoomed out first because basically what it does is zoom in on everyone. It keeps uh, everyone in the frame, yep. Is Tess, is your wireless microphone on? Not yet. All right, might want that on. And we'll go ahead and turn on auto framing. And what this is going to do is try its best to frame all of us as best it can. Now, it didn't see me, so it's just framing you two currently. So I'll Have come into the scene. And perfect example is a dance studio for instance you have a room full of a bunch of men and women you want to have them all constantly be in one frame one shot this is the perfect example of that so if i were to get up tessie got the only mic now all right if he gets up you're gonna see that it's going to widen to fit him in the frame and if we all go down here and i go over here it's going to oh it just found them don't forget about me. There we, go. there we go. So now it has all three of us in frame. And as we space out, it will frame us again, making sure that all of us are staying in that frame. As John was saying, this is perfect for a performance, a stage performance where you have multiple performers that you'd like to get in frame. Um, it's also good for a dance studio, like he mentioned. What is one of the other ones that we said? Dance studio, Dance studio. education is another good one. Meeting spaces is a big one too. If you have a bunch of people or three people sitting around a table and a fourth one joins, it would then um, add that person into the frame. So really cool to be able to show this off. The only major limit is uh, the, the width, the field of view of the group. Mm -hmm. Like it, it can only go out. So your limitation is the field of view of the camera, if you're wondering what that is. All right, let's have a seat back down. I'm gonna come sit with you guys just so I can see how. Yeah, come sit back down so we can see it recenter here. And now we are all in frame. It's a cool feature. Oh, James says that's really amazing. It's like we're a part of a sitcom group now. It's a cool feature. I mean, it, it really, really works well. Uh, the farther away the camera is from them, from the subjects, the better it will, it will work because the more it will be able to zoom out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, an amazing statistic for our cameras is that the PTZ Optics Move 4K 30X can track someone up to 300 feet away. Wow. And I think the 20X might be 250 and the 12X is 200. I might be a little off okay. on that, but I, it's on our website. So the farther away you are, can you use dynamic zoom with auto framing? I don't know if we tested that. Well, I think I have it on right now. Uh, and the answer is actually no. That's just with zoom. Well, actually, let me try. Nope. Yeah, that won't work. Oh, oh my gosh. It works a little bit, but it kind of fights you. It's like, no. This I don't want to do that. To do the zoom. What are you doing? Uh, so basically, the answer is no. 